What's up, folks? I don't know what I really want to talk about today. Oh, except of all the parking spots at the gym, somebody decided to park in between two vans. This gym is very van friendly. So somebody wedged him or herself uh, in between two vans. I mean, it was so close. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? I think his beer is gone, to tell you the truth. I've been asking, uh, asking around, saying, asking people how old I look, and they say I look young, but the beard makes me look older, like the beard is, I mean, I, I don't mind being 42. I won't mind being whatever age I am. Oh, shoot, I look forward to 40, I look forward to 50. But, trying to look older than I am. This beard might be gone by the next video. Oof. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, you know what? I've been listening to a lot of uh, R&B. Like old school R&B. R&B from back when your mom and daddy were still together, that time, that kind of R&B. And it all started with uh, the song I Do Love You by GQ. Turns out this is not an original version. That was a remake. But I Do Love You by GQ. Um, it's such a well done song. The, the guitar intro and then there's a change tempo change and it's great well, I was like mm -hmm. and I'm dancing to the music uh, at the coffee shop with my headphones on looking like a fool when I see people do that I think that dude is crazy I'm a crazy guy but I can't help it that's the music that moves me I mean I like reggae I like you know, salsa bachata. I like all that stuff, but old school R and B can't beat it, son. Can't beat it. What that was taking me back to was when he used to go to dances and ask her girl, no, or, or even clubs. He used to go to clubs and ask her girl if she wanted to dance. I don't know if that's still a thing because I mean, several years ago when I was a used to be a bouncer um, they <laughs> girls would be dancing with other girls and guys would come up and just rub themselves against them and that's how they act I guess that's I guess the music was too loud or something you couldn't say would you like to dance well back in the day before drinks were involved probably was drinking but you know you couldn't drink when you're 19 years old 20 years old and, well they were out there was drinking but it seems like to go out now or in recent years it's just to go get shit face drunk and have enough courage to hit on a uh, attractive person I turn on the wrong street again I did, sir. I believe I did. So I don't know. Back in the day, you saw a pretty girl. This good song came on. You asked her to dance. Uh, if you dance well enough, maybe you should let you dance with her again. Uh, if you felt the vibe, if something happened, if nothing happened, you say, hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for the dance. Or... 
you ask her if she wants to sit down, if she wants to talk. Oh, and then you say if you want to drink, if you're, if you're old enough. If not, uh, maybe you say thank you for the dance, and then you come back and try again. This is hard on fellas because you have to get, you could get rejected. You could say thanks for the dance, or you could come up and say, hey, would you like to dance? You put your hand out. Mm. And your instinct is like, bitch, why'd you come here then? But for me, I would just go to the, her friend, right? Would you like to dance? Mm -mm. Go to her next friend. Would you like to dance? Okay. You go out there and dance. La verga! And I'm not talking about, like, bumping and grinding, or a little bit, but that's not what I'm not. I'm not talking about where you just, you just rub your privates together. I'm talking about dancing. And it's even sexier than just bumping groins together. But, I don't know. Am I that old guy that's reminiscing about the old times? I guess, maybe, it's different. Maybe, I mean, I don't go out. And when I do go out, I never went anywhere that played R&B music. young and in the Air Force and you went to a club, they played R&B. Uh, NCO club on bass, played, it played, they played R&B. But that was California. <laughs> I just thought of something racist somebody used to say. I mean, I like r I like army music. I like going out to the to, to the club on bass. The club on bass was usually called the NCO club uh, because it was for NCOs. But if you weren't NCO, you could go. So they kind of changed the name to the enlisted club. Um, but it always the old name always stuck around. And I guess now that I think about it, because they always played like R&B music, or I mean everybody went. It doesn't matter what color, but they always played like R&B and they played some hip hop and rap in another section and <laughs> but people used to call it the NC Bro Club <laughs> and now that I realize that I think it's I realize that it's, that's racist, it's a little racist kind of because of the music <laughs> I mean no, they had Boots Good Boogie Nights on Tuesdays don't, don't get me wrong but when they had what's called what they called an all nighter when you had to take a nap before you went to the club, <laughs> those were on Sundays before a Monday holiday. Woo! They had like four DJs set up, different rooms of the club. And yeah, you ask a girl to dance. And then to the vibe, if you're, feeling, if you're feeling froggy, maybe you try to put a kiss on her. But anyways, but now, now, you gotta swipe right and hope that other person swipes right. And then hope that person isn't crazy because there's a good chance that that person is fucking crazy because they can't uh, meet people in a real fashion, myself included. Put me up there for being a little crazy. thing about R listening to this old school R&B is it reminds me, I mean, it's not my music. A lot of it is not my music. A lot of it is my mother's or my, my, my parents' music. Right? That's what they used to listen to. And by default, I had to listen to it because they're playing it. More my mother. My dad wasn't. But it reminds me of them, right? When they were young. Reminds me of growing up, growing up. It reminds me of what I'm writing about. I'm feeling nostalgic because I'm writing about my, my childhood and then I hear these old tunes that I'm like, I remember that. Before I knew the names of it or before I knew who was singing what, there's 
songs in the back of my head that when they come up, I go, I know this song, and I look, and I'm like, it's I Do Love You by GQ, all right? Or well, it's uh, Closer I Get to You by Roberta Flack. Closer I get to you. So, don't let nobody take my parking spot back there. There's a couple of places I like to go because I'll leave him in the car and I park in front. I should get used to leaving him in the, in the van and parking around the corner. He's a lot better than the problems we used to, when, than he used, used to be. The problems we used to have when his ass almost got sent back. He doesn't, he doesn't destroy stuff anymore. I'm just, just trying to take it slow. So anyways, I thought I didn't have nothing to talk about. Nothing to talk about. Turns out I got plenty. I like this spot with all the bricks and poles and stuff. It'll take me a while to get in it. Reverse fool. Over and over again. So that's all I got for today. Oh, I'm close. I'm very close. Alright, so we get it. We get it. Anyways, I wish I had turned this off before I did this backing up fiasco. Don't start whining. I know I'm there when I hit the brick wall. Actually, it's a pole. Oh, yeah. Dusty. Hit it. Whew. Okay, that's it. Sorry for the last 60 seconds of me backing up. Um, I, I kind of like it, but I like looking 10 years younger than I am. You know, trying to get them younger girls. Not because I'm a perv, like 10% because I'm a perv, but 90% because, um, when my age don't want a family or already have one or or one in the same. When my age are grandmothers. They're grandmothers. And I'm just getting started. And I see women that are like 43 and have a four year old, you know? So there there are some out there. But, anyways, call me vain. I don't think the beard is helping me. I need all the help I can get. Anyways, that's it, folks. Uh, I wrote a pretty good blog post yesterday. I posted it. It was Easter Sunday, so nobody read it, really. But um, I'll put a link to it. I'll put a link to it right here. All right, thanks.